Right, let's get back to the Starbase Commander. We got some new ships to start building the Shamur ships. Oh my god, I can't wait to start playing with them. They're going to be so good. And of course, they're specially built to kill the Urquan, to destroy them, both the Urquan, uh, Kazuza, and the Kora. So they're probably going to be amazing. Um, so, I don't know if they're going to be quick or like just massive and just super powerful. So let's see what happens. Going to fill up on crew first of all. We've got so many RUs, we don't even know what to do with it anymore. Uh, so let's have a look. We've got lots of ores and nemesises right here, but I don't think we're going to need them anymore. I mean, they've served well. They've been pretty pretty good. They've been probably our best ships. But look at there. 3,000 money, the, uh, the avatar. So they're obviously going to be pretty good. 3,000. Okay, so let's, let's get all these ships. They hold 42 crew. That is unbelievable. That is pretty good. That's like far more than twice the number that the Nemesis holds, and it's t more than twice that the, the, uh, the Yehat ships hold as well, so these are going to pack a serious punch, I can tell you now, or they're, they're just going to stay in battle for a long time. Um, doesn't look like they have sort of any cannons on there, so they've probably got some sort of strange, very futuristic weapon on them. With the Utrig on the other hand, they look like they've got like sort of like six sort of missile things, so that'd be pretty cool. But there we go, there's our team. We've still got Fwifo, um, who is still there in the second slot. Uh, he's going to stay with us the whole time. And we've got a load of Utwig ships, who are apparently really, really good. And we've got some Shimmer Welcome ships. Welcome back, Captain. There's something I think you should know. A race of plant creatures called the Supox have arrived in your absence, Captain. They offered use of their ship designs and will supply you as many starship captains as we require. I, of course, accepted their offer immediately. Also, a small contingent of Utwig has visited. After spending a few days setting up our fabricators to build their Jugger starships and providing us with a few capable commanders, they departed. Captain, if you continue to build such strong alliances, we will surely win our battle against the Urquan. Also, we have made a formal alliance with the Shimmer. Their ships can now be built in our shipyard. Yes, we've already discovered that, um, Commander Hayes, but thank you for telling us that we've made these three great alliances. That's awesome. But I think we need to analyze the bomb. As follows. Subject, Utwood bomb device. Data, analysis has yield little information about this device largely because of our technicians' unwillingness to open it or even remove the bomb from your ship. That aside, here's what we know so far. The device is correctly defined as a bomb, one of enormous destructive potential, but it's not of Utwig origin. Nothing about it relates to the technology we see in the Jugger ship. We believe it to be of late precursor origin, though it somewhat resembles certain Chenjesu technology. Its original function? Probably a planeteering tool for dispersing unwanted moons. Summary? Unless there's a strong reason to do otherwise, do not activate this device. Leave it alone. Any experimentation should be conducted at least 12 astronomical units from this starbase. And preferably a bit further. That's the end of our scientist report. Okay, so it is pretty powerful. I mean, if it can destroy an entire planet or moon or whatever. Um, I mean, hopefully... I mean, even if this... And apparently the Sumatra will even, you know survive and hit from that so it's obviously going to be pretty powerful this Sumatra um, yeah I think I'll go back on what I said last time and say that Sumatra is probably something to something big to deal with um, I mean at the end of the day I mean the entire alliance fell apart because of the Sumatra look at the Supox and Liquid there they're moving into battle they're gonna take down the Korra which is amazing so let's get to Procyon and uh, give them the bomb they can they can upgrade it now with their special crystalline structures or whatever and then we'll have a super powerful bomb like a super antimatter amplified bomb which apparently will take down the Sarmatra okay here we are at the sapphire planet oh my god they've got so many they probably got like infinite resources pretty much that's awesome okay let's talk to them you are ready you are fully prepared for the undertaking there is every chance that you will be able to destroy the Sumatra and stop both the Urquan and the Quora. Awesome. Okay, so what happens to our ship now? What happens to the bomb? We will now fit the precursor weapon and our own crystal amplification system to your vessel by routing a portion of your flagship's fusion power through the weapon's ignition chamber. 
its destructive force will be multiplied by a large factor. Okay. Why this at the Sarmatra? So, oh no, it's not gonna kill my ship, is it? No Your way. Will be totally no! Are you kidding? Oh, our ship's gonna get destroyed. Can we not like change that? Can we not like do anything about that? Oh wow. Okay. Well, I guess if it's for the for the good of um, destroying this Urquan, why not? I mean, we might as well make sacrifices, and this is one of the big ones. The completion date for your vessel's modification is roughly two weeks hence, so that you and your human companions may make any necessary preparations at your starbase. We will now transport you and your crew back to Earth immediately. Good luck, Captain. Okay, so what's gonna happen now? Ooh, what's going on? Captain, I'm oh, glad you fuck. made it back in one piece. There's something I think you should know. In the two weeks that have passed since the Shimmer began to work on your vessel, they attached the Utwig bomb to your ship and have also put in place their own crystalline amplification devices to boost dramatically the power of the weapon. This work is now complete and your flagship is ready for whatever final modifications you desire. The Shimmer technicians wanted me to explain to you that the bomb and its crystal power boosters are fragile and cannot be moved from their positions at the back of your vehicle. Now I have some bad news and some good news. The Shimmer had to remove all your main modules, weapons, crew pods, and the whole lot, including your emergency warp escape unit, so pick your engagements carefully, Captain. In addition, their equipment now fills the rear 10 slots leaving you only six for your own module. But here's the good news. The Shimmer have provided us with an unbelievable wealth of minerals and other resources. We no longer have limits on what we can build for your flagship or your fleet. Okay, so I was actually not... I just guessed that, We're and apparently... On you. Goodbye. Apparently we Good actually luck. do get um, infinite resources. Okay, Commander Hayes, I'm going to, going to go and destroy the, the, the Sumatra now. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, right. So it looks like we've got absolutely no crew at all, and we've got no. Oh, we've pretty much lost everything. No room for landers. We've got an escape pod there. So look how big that bomb is. We only have six slots now. It's pretty bad, but we do have unlimited RU, which is, I guess quite good. It's a pretty big bomb, isn't it? It's sort of got like massive. Looks like we've got like massive sort of crystals coming out of it, which is, of course what it really is. So I guess we just need an absolute ton of. Uh, crew I guess is the idea because uh, I mean surely if we're gonna destroy the Sarmacho we want to sort of like hit it tons with the uh, with all the small ships get it down to like very little health and drive in and like park right next to it and uh, hopefully we'll have enough crew to sustain the firepower of the Sarmatra. I think that's the idea we're going for here probably got enough fuel as well I mean you don't use fuel in battle and we pretty much well we haven't no we don't know the uh, correct we know the pre don't know the precise place of the Sarmatra, but I'm guessing it's right in the middle of their sphere of influence. And even the Utwig said that they um, saw lots of ships going around Craterus, I think, ages ago, or at least they circled Craterus. So that's definitely where we want to go. We want to go to Craterus, and they're, they're definitely the Supox and Utwigs are heading that way as well to that little tuning fork-shaped constellation over there. So we want to go there. So let's start with Alpha, make our way down to Beta, Gamma, Delta, so on and so forth. So let's let's get going. Let's get going to find the Sarmatra. Let's see how big it is as well. I don't really know how big this thing is. Maybe it's going to be the size of like a moon, as it said. I mean, surely it'll be bigger than a moon. Maybe it's got massive like plating. It's a precursor design. It's probably going to be really really powerful. But I mean, we have got some pretty good ships ourselves: the Shamur and the Utwig, and then this massive antimatter crystal super bomb. It's going to be amazing. Okay. So the place we need to go is to this place here. We've never been to that quasi portal before, and um, I've just saved the game and uh, had a look through all of them. And this is the one we need to go to. So here we go. The final bit in quasi space. We're not going ever in quasi space again, and we're probably never going to see Green again. We're probably never even going to see Commander Hayes again. Think about that. We're not seeing so many of these characters. We're not going to see again. We're not going to see the Oars again probably. We're not going to see the Spath. Well, actually no, the Spathy. We've got Fwifo along with us. We need to make sure that, that um, Fwifo survives. That is one of the most important things. Um, it has been... It is a, a sort of... Sort of can canonic... Canon sort of thing. 
in which Fuifo survives the Battle of the Sarmatra. So that is definitely something we need to make sure that happens. Okay, so it looks just like a bunch of Korar. Doesn't look like anything strange happening there. There is something approaching us, though. There's like a Nurquan, probably. Okay, what about Beta? Anything here? Again, just a bunch of Korar. Doesn't look like much. Definitely a lot more Korar than there are Kazurza, though. Which probably tells us a lot about how the war's going. So, what about Gamma? Is this Gamma? Delta. Oh, look, there it is. That is definitely something. Okay. Right, let's save the game here. Delta Craterus. Planet 5. There are a lot of Urquan Kazelza and a couple of Kora. But it's all the same because we've now got the talking pet, the Dinyari, to confuse them all, get them away. Since the presence of my ancient slaves, it is time, Captain. Well, Dinyari, this is your chance. This is your chance for revenge, my friend. Chance for your revenge. Employ your powers! Confuse the Urquan! Okay, now, whatever you do, once I've started, don't leave the star system. We've only got one chance at this. Let's make it good. Here I go. Uh... Okay, what's gonna happen? There they are, they're all leaving. Okay, we can get in. Where's the Sumatra? Is it. Oh, maybe it's in orbit around this planet. Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh my word, that's huge. Okay, look how big it is compared to the planet. That is absolutely massive. It's got like a massive, massive thing around it. What the hell? Oh my god, okay, let's save the game. It's got like a massive sort of ring of rock around it, like an extra pr protection. Oh my god, okay, here we go. The final battle of the game. Final battle of the game. Okay, so first of all, it looks like we have to face, like, the guards. Six Urquan ships. Let's talk to them. Haha. -ha. You may not approach the ancient Sumatra, the symbol of Urquan dominance. Your presence here is further violation of the slave laws, which your species have already violated so flagrantly. We cannot tolerate such insubordination. Your species penalty shall be annihilation. 